they have tortured and slaughtered and raped and deported hundreds of thousands. 1.5 million have been forcibly deported. They're stealing Ukrainian children. 500 just Joe. yesterday were shipped to Russia. And you and this is why we should be supporting them. We cannot allow this kind of evil to go unchecked just on a basic Joe. moral reason. I mean, don't you agree with that? I, I'm sorry, I don't. And here's okay, why. why. Why? There are gangs that have overtaken Haiti. There is a cholera pandemic that was started by the UN. UN members raped Haitians. A third of Pakistan was underwater. Should we go, due to to the climate crisis, should we go and invade China because Uyghurs are in concentration camps? Tell me, tell me, articulate. This is the question that I asked Matt Dust when this war first started. Until you can articulate to me what the rationale is behind where America intervenes and where it doesn't, and give me some kind of moral accounting that makes me believe that it's actually about moral commitments and realizing how much of our money and our resources in the richest country in the world can go to saving lives and increasing the quality of life for the most people, as opposed to a a strategic military intervention Mm -hmm. for territory resources, and political control. If you can articulate to me why this is truly the most deserving humanitarian case on the planet, as opposed to a continuation of these Cold War policies, we want our economic system, our oppressive, by the way, economic system to maintain global dominance, then I can start to entertain a conversation about what our intervention should be, how long, and how much. But there is nowhere in the entire public sphere that that conversation is actually happening and nowhere close to a rationalization that's been presented. 